Can't nothing hold me back. That's the word for the day. Can't nothing hold me back. What's going on, everybody? I want to give y'all all a shout out and say peace and blessings to you on another blessed day that the Most High have blessed us to see as we off top. Give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. You know, I learned in this life, the only thing that can stop you is you. I am very determined. Hmm. This is a video response back to you, uh, Miss Santino, 81. Love your email. But I want to encourage you, and not just only you, but everybody that's looking at this video. We all are different. We all have talents, different talents and gifts and abilities that the Most High have blessed us with from above, as the book of James teaches us. All gifts come from above. Mankind cannot give you a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit. But people in this life can play an impact on helping you bring your gift out. Some people know well what their gift is. Some are struggling and battling. Some abuse their gift. And then some people just, you know, you don't really care at all once again. But you should be very determined and have very, very much confidence in yourself. Not arrogance, but confidence. Being good at what you do. Nobody can beat you being you. Think about that. I know you got a lot of haters. We all do. You need them. Thank the most high for your haters. Haters really keep you on your toes if you think about it. That's why I laugh at them. I love them. I laugh at them. Because if I didn't have haters, I probably wouldn't push as hard as I push. I probably wouldn't pray as hard. I probably wouldn't study as hard. Haters, I just, I, I climb over them like, I use my haters as elevators. I just keep moving. And I hope I can encourage somebody with this. When people tell you no, see, your no is my yes. I'm very confident in what I do. I've accomplished a lot of stuff. You know what I love to see? When when I hate, I hate the fact that people are disabled. You know, can't do nothing about that. Pray for them. But I love when I see, and I, I'm, I'm talking this out of love. I love when I see people who won't give up, even though they have a handicap. I love that. I love that. Even when I had my stroke, I said, I am not a handy. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not looking for sympathy. <laughs> I kept working and still worked through my sickness with, with, with my hand being down. I, I never stopped. I never stopped playing the piano. I never stopped. I told the most time, I don't care what happened to me. I'm going to continue to serve. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find a way to continue to keep doing it. And that finding that way is through the Holy Spirit. Let me say it like that. And I love to see people in the Olympics and stuff that don't have no legs and still determined. You know, they racing wheelchairs and things. And, and you see, it used to be this man, I forgot his name on YouTube. He, he didn't have no arms or no legs and never complained, not once. He was the one going around and carrying everybody with people with legs and arms that's lazy and not doing nothing. See, it, it, it's it's some people out here that are, they are so determined, and that pushes me. I used to remember back in the day going to them, them old Walmarts, man. You got men standing up, women standing up, 80 years old, 90 years old, greeting you, happy. I mean, ain't even complaining, ain't crying, standing up. Still working, not making up excuses. That type of thing pushes me. Many people told me I wouldn't learn how to play the piano, and they know was my yes. You ain't gonna learn this, you ain't gonna learn how to, man. You gotta go to school to learn how to do this engineering and producing in the studio. I ain't never went to school today in my life. My highest level of education is high school. 
high school diploma. I ain't ashamed to tell nobody nothing. And I'm not knocking nobody with a degree. My my point I'm making with that is when God blesses you, the Holy Spirit, when when the, when the Most High bless you, what what the Most High have for you is for you. And ain't nothing nobody can do can stop it. Not even the devil. You just can't have that give up mentality. I got more now in my life than I ever had in my whole life. I've learned how to be content. Mm. I've learned how to be patient and go through. I've learned to not lean into my own understanding and trust in the most high. I didn't know a lot of things at first. And when you know who and what, brother, P.P. Jones, like you always say, when you know who and what Yah is, and you learn the ways of the Holy Spirit, man, your life take a change for the best. The spiritual blessings, the financial blessings, the the, the, the the health, everything, all those blessings, the real prosperity, your heart prosperity, you cannot pay for that. And you cannot get a better blessing than the Holy Spirit. I don't care how much money this world, the system, all this chasing this world, can't nobody bless you more than the Holy Spirit. I guarantee it. I stand on it. I know it for a fact. I live it. Things that you think you can't get and, and think won't happen, boy. What the Bible say? The Bible say that things that are impossible, impossible with man are possible with the Father. Do you believe it? I'm hyped in this video. Teach Holy Spirit. I've beat stroke. I've beat heart, heart failure. I've beat it. You notice I'm saying I. I'm saying the Holy Spirit through me. I'm not taking I for no credit. The Holy Spirit, the power, the speaking, the speaking life in me. You can do the same thing. Some of y'all already have. I'm so happy to hear a praise report from my sister Saida. My sister V. So many of y'all that have went through, you overcame that sickness. See, there is nothing too hard for y'all. You looking at a dude right here that they said need a new heart. And you know what happened? Most high hear this same old heart. Because the spiritual condition of my heart is speaking and, and being obedient. The spiritual side of me healed the physical side of the part that was going down. Somebody better catch this. So when you are determined, you don't let nothing stop you. You keep going. When people tell you no, they know it is your yes. Why they looking at you and then next thing you know they wonder, well, man, why this, why this sister right here got so blessed? Or why this brother here so blessed? And the most high God done so much favor on, on them. I remember a time when they was down and didn't have this, didn't have that. Now they done been elevated. Because he said, if you be faithful over a few things, he will make you a ruler over many. What's going to stop you other than? than you. The other day I talked about stop trying to compare your success to somebody else's success and realize what y'all have blessed you with. It's a beautiful thing if you woke up this morning. It's a beautiful thing if you still got a roof over your head. It's a beautiful thing if you're not laying up in the hospital, you're not sick, you're not on no deathbed. It's a beautiful thing if you're still in your right mind. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, proclaim and don't complain this morning. I know people in the hospital and in jail and in penitentiary, they in the better spirits than people that's out here out. Because most people just complaining. I just got a phone call this morning. Two more deaths. Two more. Two more. And, and both of them, we could never get off the streets. Couldn't get them off the streets for nothing. Try your best, pray for them, buy them food, clothes, personal items. They dead now. Just happened. And that's why I always say, man, the very well, the very well, very well person a lot of people look down on, it may be you in that situation next, if you're not careful. And I know some people just, they got a reprobated mind. I know you can't help them. You can't, first of all, you can't help nobody that's not going to help themselves. No way. You got to want help. 
you got to recognize you got a problem. I ain't mean to go off on all that, though. But with that being said, just wanted to come in and encourage y'all once again. Can't nobody hold you back but you. A lot of times your biggest problem is you while you point fingers. We all have to do a self-examination of ourself. Can you trust yourself? Would you hire yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Do you know yourself? Do you have self-control? Do you have self-confidence? Do you have self-esteem? Are you one of those ones that just talk? the talk and not walk the walk. Have a wonderful blessed day. Shalom.